And Chris Ockley here, 2012 Wash U Invitational with uh, Amani Butler, the former state champion and uh, at uh, Parkway Parkway North and uh, who went on to play football and run uh, run at uh, Central Missouri and um, you ran, did you run the 100 and 200 today? I just ran the 200. Okay. Uh, we felt like it would be, for my first meet in a year and a half, we thought it would be best just to stick to one race. Okay. And you said you're you're now uh, training with Coach Gillespie here in say or at, at Lindenwood. Yeah, Coach Gillespie and uh, Coach Harris sometimes. So uh, sure. But Coach Gillespie's a great coach, so I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to get me where I need to be. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, what was uh, we take it back a few years? What I know uh, some <laughs> some phenomenal performances at, at you know at state meet and stuff at Parkway North, and some yeah. still some. Uh, I I think even. Even as I went to the MIAA indoors this year, I think maybe still have one of the meet records or maybe a facility record or yeah, something like that. But what's tell me what what you, what you remember most about high school and, and some of those highlights? Oh man, high school! Uh, definitely remember the the three, the triple crown, the 100, 200, and the 400 at state. Yeah, that's probably the the best memory. So uh, the best highlight. Oh four, your senior. Oh four, yeah. My okay. Senior, 04, so. Well, I know you had some, it was fun watching you having some good battles with Dominique Peterson and some other guys from yeah. around the state. So it was definitely fun. And uh, what was that, Mario Whitney? And yeah, yeah. A few other guys, Jordan yeah. Heron. So yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah so. What? Uh, um, and then uh, tell me a little bit about any any highlights from football or, or track at, at Central Missouri. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I played football there for I started there for a year, so um, there were some good moments. Uh, and then I just decided to focus mostly on our track so um, I broke a couple of their records as you said uh, a couple of facility records a couple of meet records so I definitely did well there as well I uh, was ranked number one in the nation there um, made it to nationals in the, in the 60 and the, the 200 I didn't run the outdoor there because uh, I had injuries so I yeah. played just from hamstring injury after hamstring injury so yeah it's it's so tough to it just it seems like the theme lately of a lot of good athletes yeah um, I, that, that you talk to it's just just dev you know, you got to be on that set that line of being in great shape and yeah. being hurt. So, but I mean, now I feel like I'm in good shape. Uh, I'm strong. Um, today wasn't my by far my best time at all, but um, we're working towards it. And uh, just gonna go back to the drawing board and uh, iron out some uh, little bad habits that I picked up, you yeah, know, uh, from the year and a half off. So, and we'll correct them and uh, see if we can't drop that time a little bit more. Yeah. So. You think 200 is your, is your best event, you think? I mean, um, it's a little early to, to, to know right now because um, I haven't ran the 100 so far this outdoor season. Yeah. And so uh, I've just mostly just been training um, at the beginning of the – see, I didn't run indoor at all. So yeah. at the beginning of the season I had a little problem, but we fixed that completely. Today I felt good. Uh, no major issue. A lot of lactic acid buildup, uh, but that just comes with the territory of being your first meet. Sure, training, sure. So. Um, but I'm looking forward to my next meet. I think the next meet is at SLU. Okay, yep, two and weeks. So um, looking forward to that and seeing if I can drop at least a second off that time. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I know it's being an Olympic year, everybody's trying to get healthy and meet those standards and qualify for the Olympic trials, and it's such a big deal. And I had just a phenomenal experience being out there in 08 to, to see it and see just people trying to get in and to get in and even be there and and really should have gotten in and didn't get in the meet and um and just the the excitement and the drama and the heartbreak what do you think about that at all at practice thinking oh man they dream about that and man be just get there and be on my be on my game and when it's when that gun goes off absolutely uh i mean i was thinking about it before my race today um fortunately i didn't put that time down sure but, sure uh, it's going to come. Yeah. I, I have no doubt my mind is going to come. Coach Glass is a great coach. Um, this is his first year at Lindenwood. It's completely changed the whole program around. So I can only, I only got good things to say about him. And um, he's really helped me iron out some of the defects I had and the imbalances I had in my hamstring and stuff like that. So yeah. I feel like as long as that problem is, is non-existent, times are just going to drop. It's going to drop, you know, consistently. It's going to melt away every track me after track me after track me. So right, right. I feel good about where I'm at right now. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was. Uh, well, hope you stay healthy and uh, and uh, just keep keep that be able to stay healthy and keep that training. And I'm sure those times will, will keep coming down. So, but what? Uh, any advice for 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 young kids that are enjoying the sport or they got a little experience and they're kind of you know waving? What you know? What any advice to you know to to you know to you know after all of your experience? Well, yeah, uh, definitely. You know, um, I would have to say. 
just give a hundred percent. You know, um, when you go out to practice, practice like you plan on running to me. Um, just because it's practice doesn't mean that you can take off time. Uh, it's so important, especially with a sport that involves mechanics and so much uh, uh, strenuous activity and muscle memory. You have to train your muscles how you want to run. Right. Um, you can't train slow and run and expect to run fast. So number one thing would be to practice how you want to run. So. Right, right. Well, uh, thanks for a couple minutes of your time and uh, look forward to, to uh to uh, seeing some, some quick times from you. Hopefully, so. hopefully. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully I see you around too. Soon. All right. Thanks All right. a bunch, man. No problem.